Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope we are well. Today we're going to talk about my experience coming off contraceptive. I'd been on the contraceptive pill for many years. I think the first time I ever took contraception in tablet form was when I was 16. Um, I had a boyfriend, I was just being safe. Started on, I think, the most basic one they give you. <laughs> When they discovered that I got migraines, they quickly moved me on to a different pill because they said that the one that I was on was gonna give me a stroke. That's not good. They changed me. And so I was on that pill. And then I think I've changed pill various different times in my adult life. And I've had breaks at various times in my adult life as well. But um, I think the last time that I was on the pill was definitely for the longest period of time. Um, and yeah, I wanted to talk about my experience with the pill in later adult life um, and also talk about why I came off it and how that's affected me and like kind of what I'm doing about it. Every time I've been on the pill, I have in some way noticed a change in my emotions, whether that be a case where it kind of chills me out a little bit, kind of like levels me out. I remember one time I went on a particular pill because my mood swings were really crazy and so they put me on a pill to kind of like smooth me out. <laughs> um, but on the flip side it kind of makes you sort of a bit numb. You don't really get like mega, mega happy or mega excited or feel mega loved up or, you know, you don't really have much of a sex drive. You only notice that when you stop taking it that you feel, whoa, I feel feelings. I feel penetrated by life. And um, I kind of want to be penetrated because <laughs> you get your fucking libido back. I noticed that every time I've had a little break from the pill or whatever, um, I've noticed like a, a difference in my mood and just how I feel as a person. Every Most pills that I've taken have been a pill where you don't have a break. So every pill that I've taken, I've not had period, um, which is kind of cool, I guess. But yeah, this last pill that I was on, Sorel, I think it was. Sorel or Sarah, is it? One of the Sorel. Um, I had been on for a while. And the reason why I came to the conclusion to stop taking it was because last summer, I felt really, really down, really depressed. And it was a case of feeling depressed, but like every, like really, really shitty for like two weeks. Um, and then I'd feel fine for two weeks and then I'd feel bad for two weeks. And I was starting to notice that it felt almost like a cycle, this feeling of down shittiness, horribleness. And um, I decided to go and do something about it. So I went to my doctor and I said, this is how I'm feeling. And they said it could have a lot to do with the contraception that you're on. So I decided to come off it. I think almost instantly I felt a difference. I felt like a different person. I felt like a weight had been lifted off me. Um, I felt feelings again. I felt happy. Um, I felt excited, I felt like sexier, I felt like my sex drive was just pachoom. I just felt, I felt more things. And you know, I knew that was probably gonna happen, but I noticed that my mood generally was a lot better. Like I wasn't feeling as down and as depressed as I had been previously. So I came off the pill and I wasn't having periods. So when I came off the pill, I don't think I had a period probably for Christ, so I came off in September last year. Probably the, getting into this year that we've had, so it probably been about six months. Six months? Six months until I probably started having a proper period. I think that there'd been times where you had a little bit of spotting, a little bit of, the, little bit of this, a little bit of that, but I think it took six months for my body to finally go, you know what, let's menstruate today. And that in itself, felt like relief as well. I I can't explain it, but it kind of felt like I hadn't had a period in so long and having a period was just almost like a, like some kind of ritual, some kind of like womanly, oh my God, this feels so right. And I'm being kind of all of this energy and uh, has just escaped to my body. <laughs> it felt right and it felt good. I mean, it felt good as much as it could, but it felt, yeah, it felt right. Even after a year now, my periods have not been as, con as haven't, have been like consistent. Like they come around the same time each month, 
but they're kind of a bit all over the place. Um, so that's something that I need to go investigate and go talk to a doctor about. I've heard from many different people that it can take a while for your cycles to kind of figure themselves out, especially when you've been on the pill for so long. For example, some, sometimes my period can last like two weeks. I might have like a week of like really just lightness or barely anything there and then I'll just have two days of absolute hell, like really heavy, mega cramps, mega grumpy, just like <sighs> Leading up to that, I'll have like a week of feeling really fucking miserable, really sorry for myself, hating life, really, 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 really down and down in the dumps, like <sighs> hardcore. And then I'll have a week of like feeling of feeling better, but that's when it sort of starts, like a little bit of like bleeding or spotting or whatever. And then the following week will be like, boom, smack you in the face. <laughs> With all the med straightened fields, man. Afterwards, it's like, oh my God, I just wanna have sex all the time. Honestly, this has just become my life now. Like I am like clockwork, this is how I work. And it's kind of interesting when you use like certain apps, like period apps, I use Clue and I use Clue and Flow. And they tell you like when you're due and when this is likely to happen or when you're the most fertile or whatever. And I'm like, I swear that that is just me being an animal and going like, I'm really fertile now, we need to fuck. It did take a while for, for me to get a cycle that I could kind of predict. Um, it's still a little bit hit and miss in at times. And I think for the first kind of six months, it was just all a bit like, hey, where are you? <laughs> are you gonna come or not? And then when it started, like, like it started to work again and the motions were happening, it was just all a bit all over the place. But definitely tracking them on an app helps because you get to see patterns in the way it kind of works. And now I sort of know when to expect it. It might be a case where it sort of starts and it might last a while or it might last like less time. I can almost also normally tell by my mood. So again, like if I'm feeling really moody or down or like unnecessarily self-deprecating or negative or self-critical, I'll know. Also, when I'm on my period, I can't stand Mark. <laughs> like everything he does irritates me. We get on, don't get me wrong, but my I guess my fuse is just a bit shorter. Um, so I do feel bad for him for that because I can't help it. I actually can't help it. I can't help, in my head I'm like, Stop, he's done nothing wrong, stop it. But then there's this part of me that's this ravenous, like irrational menstrual beast, just like fuck him, I think actually one thing that I've really, really like come to understand again, and so I'm sort of relearning what it is to like have periods, I guess is like, whoa, fuck, hormones are mad. Hormones can make us crazy. That mood swing or the anger or the sadness is such a strong indicator because it's, it is, it's like, I feel crappy for this portion of time. Oh, hey ho, here's my period. Sometimes you just think things or you do things and you're just like, I can't help it. Luckily, the people around me are A, in the same boat or B, just understand what it's like. Try not to be a bitch. I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not generally not a bitch. I'm not a bitch to people, but if I'm extra sensitive or just a bit emotional um, or I take things the wrong way or I have like a hissy fit. Oh, no, I don't have a hissy fit, but if I, I did have a hissy fit at the weather the other day in Canada and I'll be like, that was definitely PMS. <laughs> Sometimes it just takes over you. Like you're just like, <gasps> even though that does all sound really negative, I would much prefer feel like that and be like this than a year ago when I was just consecutively and for long periods of time, really miserable. I'd rather be crazy for a week than be miserable for three out of four weeks of the month. But generally as a person, I do feel a lot better. I feel I don't have this like long, like I don't have like extended periods of times so of feeling really miserable and my mental health being really like fucking shit. It's like normally these days, it's just for like two or three days, like before my period is due. So it's definitely helped my mental health, my well being. In terms of like contraception, what I actually use now, condoms. <sighs> to be honest, I am, I'm pretty naughty. I'm like, I don't want to do, I don't want to use that. Just 
pull it, put it in and pull it out. I know that's really bad, but Mark absolutely refuses to do that. And he's very much for being safe, um, which is great. And man points to that because it sometimes can be very rare that you find a man that's actually willing to do that um without moaning about it but yeah good on him for that um kind of just is the way it is you get used to it my gripes of using johnny's is a it's a bit of a buzzkill sometimes you're just like oh i just need to just stop the flow of things and just go in here and da -da 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 -psh. and also it's like the waste product you know having to always plastic cardboard and it's just kind of the way I feel about contraception is that I, obviously, I'm not going to be like, don't take contraception, it's all bullshit. It does make me feel a bit sad that us women, we are having to put these hormones, these chemicals into our bodies that it might not be a chemical, these hormones, additives, whatever, extra bits and bobs in our bodies to obviously interfere with the reproductive system. And it is affecting some of us like, so severely it really does suck that like something that i've been told i have to take to be a responsible adult is having such a detrimental effect on my mental health i know it can affect people by weight gain skin mental health cycles etc all of that it can just fuck you up and i do think it's a shame really that we kind of i've had it before where like oh you're in a relationship yes are you taking contraception no Oh, have you thought about it? Yes, I have, and I don't like it. And you kind of feel like you're getting judged because you're not being responsible by taking a contraception, like a, a permanent thing. And I just think that that's sort of like a bit shitty. It does suck that there isn't an alternative for men and that they've tried to have an alternative for men, but they were like, oh no, the side effects were too severe. I'm like, you do realize that a lot of women have some pretty shitty side effects of taking contraception as well, but we're just, we just have to deal with it because that's just the way it is. I am potentially thinking of doing something like the copper coil. I don't wanna really do anything that interferes with my hormone balance because I feel that that may potentially interfere with just me as a person, but I am also terrified of it. I've heard some horror stories of copper coils. <laughs> Some people I know have had to have copper coil removed because they just haven't stopped having a period or it's just been really painful. But then again, I know also how effective it can be. Another thing that I have to think about is, actually I did also used to take my contraceptive pill to help me control my migraines because my migraines are like hormone induced. So when I was younger and I was growing up, if I came on my period, I'd always get a migraine. And before if I used to forget a pill or was late taking it, that would often bring on a migraine of some sort. And so I was really terrified of coming off the pill and I did tell the doctor that I was really scared of coming off the pill because I didn't know whether they would get out of hand, they'd come back at me. And thankfully, I've only actually had one in the last year since coming off the pill. So kind of gravy baby. And that was fairly recent. And that was like two days before a period. So I did get a little bit anxious when I had my last period because I was in Canada. And I thought, God, if I'm like three hours up a hike and it hits me, I'm going to be fucked. It doesn't really happen often. Um, obviously there's ways around it, like my doctor suggested taking beta blockers or something. But you know, for me it's all trial and error, trying different things, seeing how my, how my body responds to things. But yeah, that's generally kind of how it's been for me. I think it definitely has improved my well-being and my mood and me just as a person. I, I actually don't mind having periods. So yes, sometimes it can be kind of super inconvenient depending on what plans you have. But if I'm honest, like if that's the way my body has to work and as like a female, you know, I was sort of born for that function to happen, then let it happen. I think also one thing is having periods again after having not having them for so long. It kind of almost still feels a bit like a novelty because it's sort of still, oh, I'm on my period again. Ha, cool. And I'm more open to talking about it because in a way it's exciting. I'm not, I'm not backwards about coming forward with that kind of stuff. Like if people think it's taboo or guys think it's embarrassing or don't want to hear it, they need to fucking get over it because every, nearly every bloody woman on this planet has them. It's the most natural thing in the world. But yeah. That is my experience of coming off the pill. I'm not telling you, go do it right away, but I guess a lot of people have been asking me how it's been, and so I thought I would just sort of like update you or just tell you what it was like for me as a person. Let me know your thoughts. 
etc in the comments maybe we can get conversations going and help each other out that's it everyone hope that was helpful i'll see you all later bye, -bye.